So, Geometry Dash, right? That game where you jump and fly through obstacles, fail, rage, and repeat. It's a very difficult game. The first levels already pushed the average person to their limits. But what if I told you that these were once the hardest levels in the game? It certainly seems silly to think that, but before players grasped the game's level editor feature, this was reality. But now, the community has taken over with their own levels, if you can call them that at this point. I mean, these are the works of art that are being created here. Over the past 8 years, levels have evolved in both decoration and difficulty. There are over 5,000 levels that have the demon rating, the hardest rating that the game has to offer. And out of those levels, 515 have been given the sub-classification of Extreme Demon. These levels are, to put it lightly, mind-bogglingly difficult, and the average player takes thousands, even tens of thousands of attempts, to clear one of these levels. But just how hard can these levels get? That's what we're going to be taking a look at today. How difficult will Geometry Dash become? As of the time of making this video, the current hardest level in the game is known as Slaughterhouse by Ice Cave and More. If you're unfamiliar with the capabilities of players already, here's what the level has to offer. It's already hard to watch these levels without getting overwhelmed. I mean, you take one look at these levels and immediately you can see the thoughts such as, how do people even do this? This looks impossible, and I don't want to ever be this good at the game. Unfortunately, not all hope is lost even if you're just starting out in the game. Sure, it may look impossible on the surface, but with enough time and practice, you can improve at this game very quickly. Let me know if you want me to talk about how to improve later on. With that tangent out of the way, Let's talk about just how hard this level is. Coming in at around 1 minute and 10 seconds long, this level is a bit shorter than most levels of this difficulty. So you might be wondering, how is this the hardest level in the game? The answer is the pure difficulty of these click patterns. You have very little time to react on some of these inputs, and others are near impossible to read and rely on muscle memory. On over 60 different points in this level, you have just a single frame on 60Hz to make your input, or 1 60th of a second. You have to do that over 60 times in just over a minute. Timings on which you can only have one frame to make your input on will be known as frame perfects from here on out. But can you do one better than that? The game at its core runs on 60 frames per second, however, the community allows you to use a refresh rate of up to 360 frames per second, which makes the game run smoother and changes the physics in order to make these levels more obtainable. In most cases, playing on a higher refresh rate makes the game easier but not in all cases. Look at this level on the screen. Doesn't look that bad, right? Just some cube jumps. They look a little tough, but how hard can it be? Turns out, this is debatably harder than Slaughterhouse, and it only has one victor today. The third variant, a rather straightforward cube challenge consisting of 18 jumps, with a few extra clicks attached onto the end, is ranked number one on the challenge list, a community run list of the hardest possible challenge levels in the game. See these jumps here? Remember how I said players use 360 FPS in order to help the game run smoother? Turns out, it could also be used to make some of the hardest levels possible. Due to a concept called frame alignment, every single jump here is a frame perfect. On 360 frames per second. The time to successfully hit one of these jumps is equivalent to 1 360th of a second, or roughly 2.77 milliseconds. For reference, the time it takes in the blink of an eye is on average 100 milliseconds meaning each click has a window of success over 36 times smaller than that of a blink of an eye. It's already very difficult to replicate that once, let alone 18 times. With this, we can get an idea of just how hard the game will become. While pure skill has been the key for success for several top players, at some point in the future, the biggest contributor to difficulty may not be raw skill or your CPS, but rather luck.
No, not that human limit. I'm talking about the theoretical limit for what a human can achieve. We have covered the limits in both skill and luck, but there's still one more aspect of a level that adds difficulty that most people don't necessarily think about. Length. Slaughterhouse is only a minute and 10 seconds long. The third variant is 12 seconds of jumps, with a long break before the much easier ending. The longest rated level in the game, known as the Long Walk Home by Ren241, clocks in at over 11 minutes in length. That being said, is it possible to complete a level of that length with inputs as difficult as the third variant? Considering the only victor of the level, Sko99, took 6 digits of attempts to complete the level, it seems safe to consider that repeating those jumps for minutes on end would be humanly impossible. Nobody can have the consistency to perfectly time a window of less than 3 milliseconds for minutes on end. With a level the length of the long walk home, you could complete the jumps in the third variant around 56 times, equaling out to over 1000 jumps, down to 1 360th of a second. Say you had a 50% pass rate for each jump, which for a window of 2.77 milliseconds seems overly generous. Completing 1,008 of these jumps in rapid succession with the 50% pass rate on each jump would give an expected pass rate of 1 in 2.74 times 10 to the 303rd power, blowing Dream Speedrun luck out of the water, to put it lightly. With that out of the way, there has to be a point where a line has to be drawn. What is the longest level that could be completed with the difficulty of a level such as the third variant? Assuming that the FPS cap allowed for top level play stays at 360 frames per second, we have a basis on how to make the hardest humanly possible level. What we don't have a basis on is the capability of a human to complete these levels, if you can call them that at this point. If it took 7 years for a player to complete Silent Club Step, the most infamous impossible level that the game has to offer, I would imagine that we're equally as far as away from the theoretical human limit. The difficulty bar in Geometry Dash is raised when a new hardest level in the game has been completed. From the early days of the hardest levels being Demon Park, up until nearly a decade later, the bar was lifted multiple times year on average. Cataclysm, Bloodbath, Sukuban Hell, Sonic Wave, Plasma Pulse Finale, Bloodlust, Zodiac, Tartarus, Slaughterhouse, the third variant. The capability of these players never ceases to stagnate. There are a number of levels that are capable of reaching the next level of difficulty, including Acheron, Eternal Knight, Misanthrope, and Orochi. These levels build on the difficulty of the hardest possible achievements and amplify them. Every new achievement is just another reason to keep going. In just 4 years, Bloodlust, once deemed as the hardest thing that will ever be done in this game, has now been topped nearly 40 times in counting. As long as players continue to play this game, the skill cap will continue to swell until one person goes for it all and completes one level that will blow everything away. Tartarus was on top of the list for nearly two years, and it's only a matter of time until something like this is repeated. As even if you believe we may be close to the skill cap, we're nowhere near close to the limits of our consistency, drive, and determination. As for the level right now with the highest amount of skill needed, candidates such as Eternal Knight or Azure Flare come to mind. They are not very long, only slightly longer than Slaughterhouse, but significantly escalate the difficulty with their tight wave sections and 120Hz frame perfects all the way through. While a 360Hz frame perfect has a window of 2.77 milliseconds, a 120Hz frame perfect is the same as a 3 frame window on 360fps, giving the input a window of 8.33 milliseconds. Slightly more reasonable, and can be executed consistently, with levels such as Agron on the verge of verification with numerous 120Hz frame perfects. If these levels are possible for a human to achieve, then this could be our basis for making what could be the next or even final frontier of difficulty for this game. All you need to do is master it, because the levels are going to be very long. With levels such as Firebrick, currently the fourth hardest level in the game at the time of making this video, taking over 230,000 attempts to verify, there is no debate that players within the community will push themselves to their limits in order to do the unthinkable. With that said, the highest known attempt count on any level at the moment is held by Lash Tange, with 640,000 attempts. If a player such as Cursed, Space UK, or Trick were to spend that many attempts on the level, just imagine how hard it would be. In order to push levels that far, the only way we can go is length. We've already discussed that levels such as an extension of the third variant are not feasible for players to complete in a reasonable time frame due to the attempts relying too much on luck and would in general just be a pain to grind. With all of these said, it seems like the limit of our capabilities meets the following criteria. Having a raw difficulty on par with levels such as Eternal Knight or Slaughterhouse. 
very high numbers of inputs needed, with some parts requiring jittering or even two hands to complete. And the cherry on top? A length, rivaling levels such as Misanthrope or even Sinister Silence. A level like this would not only push the game's limits, but also gaming's limits. With Eternal Knight having 16 frame perfects on 120 FPS, the level 6 minutes in length would be pushing 60 inputs requiring a frame perfect on this refresh rate, let alone all the other inputs that you need. A fast paced 6 minute extreme demon today, known as Boogie, totals nearly 1000 clicks, while Slaughterhouse only has around 160 to 170, so good luck. So, we're looking at a level where it would be in a sense, be clearing Slaughterhouse 4 or 5 times in a row. Whether or not you think that is obtainable is up to you, but I have high hopes for this community, especially if Update 2.2 is released in the future. There will be certainly a player who is capable of pulling up something of this magnitude. It may be a long time coming, but there will be a player capable of pushing the boundaries to their limits until one day those limits are pushed even farther. Geometry Dash is up there in the hardest video games of all time, and I hope that if you weren't aware of that going into this video, you now have a better idea of just how impressive this 2D platformer really is. For 9 years, this game has pushed boundaries in both creative and physical manners, truly pushing the meaning of the word impossible.